Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about disabling the Windows 11 activation mark on your computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, assuming you're just having a glitch, and this isn't actually activating your version of Windows 11, it's just going to be removing this if you're having some sort of glitch on the bottom of your screen. This should hopefully be able to help you out, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So all we have to do is open up the search menu, type in Notepad, best match, come back with Notepad, go ahead and open that up. And now I will have a command in the description of the video. I want you guys to go ahead and copy that and paste it into this Notepad file. And then you want to select File and Save As. I'm going to call this file watermark.bat. And then I'm going to save it to the desktop, so make sure to save the desktop. And where it says Save As Type, click inside the dropdown and set it to All Files. And then you want to go ahead and select Save. Once it's on the desktop here, you can close out of here. And once you have this file on the desktop, you're going to go ahead and right click on it. And you're going to run as administrator. Select Yes. And give it a second. And once that is done, you want to go ahead and move this file to somewhere on your computer you won't delete it. So let's say we're going to open a file explorer again and then select the documents folder. Drop this watermark file into this folder. Close out of here. And now you want to open up the search menu. Type in task scheduler. Best match to come back with task scheduler. Go ahead and open that up. Select on the right side where it says create basic task. And you can name this task whatever you want. I'm just going to call it watermark. And then I'm going to select next. Set this to run daily. And then select next again. And repeat every one day. That's fine. Select next again. And then you're going to select next. And it's going to ask what action would you like to do. Keep it at start a program. And then select next. For the program slash script, you want to click the browse button. Select Documents, and then select the file that we just moved over to this Documents folder. So double click on that. Now once you've done that, you can just go ahead and select Next, and then Finish. And that's all you have to do. So appreciate for the process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.